Hello, Kurt. What's up? How are you? Yeah, it's good to see you. Oh, you got a little bit of the package? Yeah. Have a great one. You do. Thanks. Oh my goodness, boys. I had such a splendid day. We got to friggin' work on the 83 a little bit more. Got a little bit of poop in there. It's friggin' great. Finished up the, the painting on the on the brake mixers. Got on the internet a little bit. Looked at some disc brake conversions. But uh, the only place I could find, of course, are sold out of the dually. No, no in stock in the dually fact here. So I might try to make something. I don't know. Got uh, got the U-joints on order and the seals and the bearings for the friggin' uh, spindles. Uh, yeah, so we can soon boost and fix up them guys a little bit. We'll get the bearing out of there, all the grease, everything. How you doing? Friggin' these peeny lemon squeezy. Oh yeah, there's that. There, there's that. Goodness gracious it's not exactly perfectly where it's i just stuck it up there for the santasy factor but yeah man holy suffering you gotta freaking cut a bunch of it out you gotta freaking get rid of that get rid of this whole freaking area pretty much up to this line here so this whole piece here all the way on the in inner mcsigaret goes away no gotta and then this you expose like a bunch of that yeah it's gotta go it's gotta go towards the front a little bit more but yeah holy eh wow well I don't know I don't know we might just put the put the back ones on same same words as the front ones yeah I'll put them on like this and then I said it before but I think it was a confusing out of the situation get rid of the steel ones and put the aluminum ones in place of the steel ones without the dually fenders but we got a little bit of the pack huge. You know I love a little bit of the pack huge. Butcher the crunched up garbage. It's a garbage. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah. Felt that in the freaking 80 tree. Clank her down, give her a couple yanks. Guarding Tess for the neighbor. Oh, my pewter steps. My pewter steps. But I gotta do some friggin' uh, soon boosting today. Different things. We got some, some parts done and stuff. I had to clean out the, the vaca words, of course, because, yeah, we're gonna have to come up with plan L on that one. Like a guy, like there's that guy up there, but it's way up there. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Could just drill a hole through the mesalum and plumb it right up into the stovepipe and have some sort of preliminary fan of the suck factor to no filter, just chooch and just get rid of the fellas because the vacuum is just dying, right? And that's all I really use it for. You see the remnants. But I put some of that black poop on the uh, the diff cover there. Cleaned up really good. Cleaned up really friggin' good. You can even daunt us the, the name factor and stuff, but of course you gotta. Give it a give it a swoosh, all the all the brown poop off of it or whatever. But uh, yeah, I might still paint the outer, but I wanted to coat the inner and not just leave it of the bare, soon bloosted of the metal variety. So, but uh, yeah, I got to do some soon bloosting today, and it's really hard to get the shot with the tripod because of the because of the the tripod legs. So I'm gonna make like a a, 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 a monopod stick. Yeah, where I found a couple just scrap pieces of the metals laying around of the different variety. I don't know what this one is. This one almost looks like it's stainless. Okay, we might have to change that one up. It's a pretty fancy dandy uh, piece of the metals there, but just grabbed an old slug off the end of something. We'll weld her, uh, weld her onto that. Weld the big one onto that. Put a nut and a hole and a bolt and a guy and the littler one and the littler one. And then I managed to... Uh, break one of my other tripods that I don't really use any merds and we utilize the issue on the end right off of some bitch there so I'll just put a bolt or something in there with some epoxy resin adhesive and decent friggin' peeny but uh, I gotta wait for some parts and stuff anywards the u-joints and seals and different things so we'll are waiting for that I'll make a tripod get some balloon bluesting done but like Look at how bad, like you see this one, 
it's got a little shiny spot it's only it's only whittled to like you know the shiny spot but this one the shiny spots dicked she was pretty filled up with the schmutt if you will but yeah I think that long side started leaking relentless got just about all the fluids out of it they probably took her in a drink a few times next thing you know the whole shaft's filled with sand and smut and frig. I mean, they must have had fun doing her. I don't doubt it. Eh? But uh, now the old pug one's paying for it, I guess, there. So we'll uh, drill some holes, weld some nuts. Yeah, and then we can do some soon bluesting and get the shot relentless. I just mixed some poop there. Didn't have much time, so missed the missed the shot relentless. But uh, did a very neat, neat and tidy job of that. Mm -hmm. Got to put more into it anyway. But whatever. Got the friggin' uh, got the pipe and the clamp, and we're gonna drill the hole and weld a nut. It's gonna be awesome, boys. You're not even gonna believe it. How's your day going? Wind's going pretty friggin' decent. Oh, decent peony. Should be able to get the shot with that. I just friggin' uh, welded like, see that's like, it only come out to there, right? If you undo it more. I just welded a little ledge on there to catch the guy. I had to put a little slot into it because of the seam in the pipe. Seam in the pipe, if you will. But yeah, it goes like six, six or so feet high. Should be able to chooch into the windows of the Stove pipe and it's how much or something and we'll find out right after lunch. Oh I love how much or something's real bad, but uh yeah. Let's 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 try it out. Let's do a little rock wall hardness check. Hard as a stick of butter. <laughs> Hard as a stick of butter, boys, but we should. Oh, yeah. Out she comes. The Bearing Basher 710. Hey. Huh? Yeah. Look at the technique, boys. Hey, eh? look at the friggin' technique. All your grease, clean a peony. Hey. Eh? We'll just mashing and bashing away relentless next thing you know it's how much or something but I think we'll, we'll try this guy the caps just just fit in there so you never know might might work probably not in customs beg my Perdonsky but uh, yeah these uh these clips I mean come on just jammed in there uh, like a frigger but one out, three to go, got another hole, 
whole shaft, but just freaking starving to death. Get some helmets or something up with some. Hopefully not get too many cheeches in us and uh, come on, finish this bullshit. Train out this friggin' Bulls Dick WD30 friggin' uh, degreasener formula today, boys. Tell you if it's worth a piss or not. Oh, it's very liquidy. Very much. Ooh. Splendid. So yeah, I guess uh, tomorrow we'll come out and clean all the all the dusty fellas and different things off of uh, a couple components. Give them a little bit of a spritz. Probably just do black, black on these. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Big my bird. It looks like these uh, these little ringlos just pop off there, press off, and get a new to kind of a dent dented up cobbled situation on those. I don't know, call the parts stick in the morning and see if we can't uh, get some new ones. If they're cheap enough, I mean, we just bang it flat for now, I guess, but... Still haven't pulled the pumpkin out. I figure we got to pull that uh, cross McSigurd arm off and uh, leave room for the Chasler valve. So yeah, we just got a little carried away with the U-joints and the different things and blah, blah, blah. Come, uh, come apart pretty good once you get those... Uh, our skulls out of there. Dicked around, dicked around, dicked around, dicked around, dicked around, dicked around, and what I found worked was a uh, pointy guy. Pointy guy. Friggin' just like jab into the into the side wherever and get her started and then just she pops right off there. Didn't even really need the heat. The heat did help though. The heat definitely did help, but once you got the technique down she comes right out of there, but uh, but anyways, boys, friggin' uh, let me know what you think. A couple finger fotchkeys on that like button would be much obligent. And uh, if you missed them, we got a couple bitches from around the week. But anyways, boys, beg my pardon, we teach here going to the dicker bone pregnant until tomorrow. Don't the water skits you.